Chris Record shared his backwards blueprint at an incredible internet marketing workshop in Las Vegas, Nevada. There, him and his team, Take Massive Action, taught us how to make a six to seven figure income. Only if we ourselves took massive action and implemented the strategies that they taught us. So what you want to do is you want to start by getting a lead capture page and obviously your company that you're working with might have one, you might already have one in place, you might want to create a custom lead capture page. But when you're working backwards, your whole goal should be to get people to become a lead to opt into your list so you can continue to follow up with them with your marketing. Okay? So work backwards, start with a lead capture page. Whatever that lead, whatever the lead capture page is about is what your whole entire marketing campaign is going to be about. I see so many of you do a marketing campaign that leads to a lead capture page that's not even about it. It's something completely separate. That's a mismatch. Or you use the same exact lead capture page for everything. It's a mismatch. You want to start to get laser targeted, laser focused. The next thing is you want to identify related topics to that lead capture page. If your lead capture page was, let's say you're in the real estate niche, your lead capture page was maybe you were looking for somebody that was interested in selling their home. Well, you want to come up with a whole list of related topics that somebody interested in selling their home would also be interested in. You want to think like that. Let's say, uh, you know, I have a lead capture page I use that is about a bunch of different ways to advertise your business. So I want to think of related topics that have to do with advertising. I've got another page that has to do with different ways to fund your business. So I want to come up with related topics that have to do about funding. So whatever your, your lead capture page is at the center, and you want to create like a web of topics that have to do with that. The next thing you want to do is you want to create an outline of titles. And this is your SEO. SEO. So you've got in the center, you've got your lead capture page, you've got a bunch of related topics around that. What you want to do is you want to create an outline of let's say 20, 30, 40, 50 titles. And these SEO titles are like, what I mean by SEO is search engine optimization. Essentially, these are like keyword phrases. We talked about it before. If the, if the lead capture page had something to do with shoes, like we talked about in that example, you would come up with, with related topics, all the different types of shoes. Those are all the different audiences. Then you would come up with a list, an outline of different titles. These titles could be titles of your YouTube videos, or titles of your blog posts. What I love is this. I love being efficient. I don't want to just sit in front of my computer and say, what should I blog about? I don't want to just turn on the camera and hit the red button. Do you remember, you remember Kyle when he did his smile talk last night? How many people hit the red button and it's like then they're thinking about what to say? You don't want to do that. You want to be prepared. So before I even shoot one video, I usually already have an outline of 50 titles of videos that I want to shoot. I'm not kidding. I've got in my phone right here, I can show you a notebook, but I've got a series of videos. I've got 150 titles of the videos. So anytime I want, I can turn on my camera, choose one of the 150 titles, and just do that video right then and there. I don't even have to think about it. I already know what to do. I've already uh, brainstormed with the title. And if you're really uh, detailed, you can put a description with each one as well. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to start with the video marketing piece that we taught last night. Okay, we gave you all the information of exactly how to make these compelling videos. We gave you the information about how to put custom thumbnails on them, how to do it all, position it. Now, when you're thinking of content, a lot of people say, you know, just go out there and do videos about whatever. Just do them about things you love. I have a different belief. I believe you should do videos that are very, very specific to something that's going to generate business for you. That's my belief. I, I go out with an intention that I'm going to do something specific for business. And then in that intention, I find something that I love. So I, don't, I see people go out there and just do like a daily journal. They'll just go out there and speak what's on their mind. Well, if a, if a potential customer came across and just heard you telling a story about what happened to your cat, you know, it's, it's not a relevant match. But if your potential customer, for instance, someone that wants shoes, then your video should somehow be related to shoes. You should have a strategy that if my potential prospect is looking for shoes, wants to buy shoes, my video is going to draw them in. So you want to create videos. The two things that I use the most is screen flows and hangouts. However, of course, you use a camera, which most everybody has. ScreenFlow is a tool that I use on my Mac. All I really mean by ScreenFlow is some sort of a screen capture. Something where you hit record and it records what's going on on your screen. 
That allows you to do something like a PowerPoint presentation. Do you want to know how simple this PowerPoint presentation was? I went to Shutterstock and I chose a black background. I opened it up in PowerPoint. I made the font as big as I possibly could. And then I just chose a different font. And all, all I've really done here is just some of the words are white and some of the words are red. Very, very simplistic. And here's another tip I'm going to give you if you're doing PowerPoint presentations. How much does it cost you to pay for it to create another slide? How much do slides cost? Nothing. Nothing. They're free. So don't try to fit everything on one slide. Don't try to cram it in. It's not, like, it's not like slides are a hard commodity to come by, right? They're free. Take your thoughts and break them into multiple slides. Also, you don't have to say everything. Notice how I'm reading a main point and just elaborating on it. All you have to do is create an outline of a few points of your topic. Just create like five things you want to talk about. Make five slides and then say it and then elaborate on it for 30 seconds. And then change the side and elaborate. And you go to Shutterstock and in between each one, you can put a picture. And then that symbolizes it. Keep it simple. You can do a PowerPoint. You can share that PowerPoint on it. You can record it on a screen flow or a screen recording. Or you can even use Google Hangouts. You can start with yourself and then go to a PowerPoint. If not a PowerPoint, just record your screen. And if you're going to record your screen, make sure the screen size is very, very big. Because when somebody's watching the video, it's going to be very, very small. Now you've got those videos. What you want to do is you want to optimize these videos with the features that we've shared with you earlier. There's a many of them. I don't have time to recap them all. But there's features such as optimizing them with a custom thumbnail. You also want to optimize them with some sort of an SEO title and an SEO description. I'm going to go into that in a minute. I'm going to give you a big, big, big tip on doing that. But when you create your list, what I'll do before I even shoot one video is I'll come up with like 20 videos I'm going to shoot. I'll come up with the titles in advance and I'll make the titles SEO friendly. And rather than going to a big entire lesson on SEO right now, let me just give you common sense SEO. SEO titles are just think when you're searching in YouTube or searching in Google, what would you be searching for to find that topic? Use common sense. What would you be searching for? Okay, so I can't disclose the whole segment of that workshop to you. But if you'd like some more internet marketing tips from Chris Record or the rest of Team Take Massive Action, click the link below.